Today on RDM Foods, we take you to a small Polish restaurant called Pierogi Queen. This unique restaurant resides in Leak City, Texas, just off of 518 and I-45. It brings Poland to Texas, as not many restaurants take that risk to a place used to only a few types of different foods, such as barbecue, Mexican, and Italian foods. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pierogi Queen. So today we're at Biori Queen in Lake City and we're visiting the restaurant to see how it is and this is the owner and we're just going to go ahead and talk for a little bit and uh, so what's really been bothering me for a little bit is just you came all the way down from Chicago to Texas. Yes. So what made you want to do that? <laughs> we just looking, uh, we looked for a better place to live. We didn't like Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, I never liked winters. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband, he's a truck owner and he used to work at the uh, chemicals in Chicago. Here is much easier with that job. I actually lost my job, so why not to find another place? Mm -hmm. And we were looking for a good place. When we came for vacation first time here, five years ago, mm -hmm. we fell in love in Texas. Texas is so similar to Poland. I mean, people are more honest, more real. Mm -hmm. And we just moved next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so That's, now it's four years. But whenever you came down to Texas, what made you want to open a restaurant? Like, what was the inspirations? Like, why open a restaurant here and why not in Chicago since there's more Poland influence there? Now I'm coming back five years. <laughs> <laughs> when we came here first time, we were looking for something Polish here, like Polish store, Polish restaurant. Yeah. And we found just one store and one Polish restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I know how very uh, famous is Polish food uh, up north mm -hmm. of America. Everybody knows pierogi, everybody knows stuffed cabbage. Mm -hmm. So my friends always kept telling that I'm a good, good cook. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but why not? So I was physical therapist in Chicago and I came here, my license actually not working here and I didn't want to go to school again so we just opened the restaurant. I'm glad that you did because I've never actually met anyone with any Polish background or even had Polish cuisine um, but I guess so where do you all get your ingredients for your restaurant because I'm guessing you know beef and barbecue sauce isn't exactly what you need for your food to Right. In Polish people we're using mostly pork, not beef. Mm -hmm. uh, Polish kielbasa, Polish sausage. Mm -hmm. And that stuff I have from Chicago. I mean pork I can buy everywhere, but sausage I have from Chicago. Mm -hmm. There is one ingredient I cannot buy here in Houston. It's Polish farmer's cheese, which we use for the, a lot of stuff. So I got this from Chicago too. Mm -hmm. And the rest you can buy here. Mm -hmm. Crowd, which we use a lot, but most of the thing typical Polish I have from Chicago. Mm -hmm. I understand there's been like a lot of challenge trying to open up a restaurant here because everyone here in Texas we're so used to barbecue, we're so used to Hispanic and Latin food and also Chinese food, but that's like our former comfort food. So, what, like, what are you trying to bring to Texas, to Texas that we don't already have? Like, does that make sense? different variety you can I know the, the Texas food is excellent I love barbecue I love Tex-Mex I like Chinese food but we need something more like I don't know maybe I don't know Houston good enough but in Chicago you have everything mm -hmm. fall mix everything I think it's not that many diversity here in Houston mm -hmm. and not only I want to have the Polish food here, but I also want to introduce people to Polish culture. That, that's why are the pictures, 
we're gonna have the Polish movies in our TV. Mm. So it's not just the food, it's just, it's Poland. I want people to know uh, what kind of people we are. We are so similar to Texans mm. that it's really worth it to teach Texans something about Poland, not mm. just the food. First off, I can't believe that your restaurant might be small in the area. However, there's so much that you're trying to bring and offer. And it's amazing you're able to fit a whole country's worth of culture into this small restaurant. And I really hope that this restaurant does become successful over time. And uh, I guess right now we're going to go ahead and go into the kitchen and see what's going on in there. Well, if we knew, we, we could show you how we do stuffed cabbage, but not right now, because everything is prepared. So Josh right now is doing the pan fried Josh. So you can talk to Josh and do the it going? Good, good. Yes. Mm. Right. <laughs> so what are we doing today? We've got the pan fried pierogies, uh, some of our potato and cheese, we got our potato pancakes over there. Mm. And uh, how often do y'all make these every single day, the potato pancakes? No, those are only on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Mm. And we serve them with goulash and uh, other things like that. Hungarian pork stew. Yeah. So do y'all make everything? fresh for the day and that's the only thing I'll serve for the day, correct? We do, yeah. And so today is Peorgi and what else? Uh, we got the pierogies today. We got, we got pierogies every day. Mm -hmm. That's like our main item. And today we got the potato pancakes. Okay. Let's take them off. These are the Polish style potato pancakes. We use the ground potatoes instead of the grated. Mm -hmm. Pickles in there. They're gonna take the goulash on the side. and red bell pepper and paprika. That gives you a lot of this flavor of the paprika. So first off, I only went to say that this is what the they recommended to try. Uh, I have no clue what it's called, but it looks delicious, and that's what all that matters to me. But um, let's see. So it's Polish fries, from my she told me. I'm not sure what this like. What's covering it right now? It's hard to describe it. It's, it's cheesy, but at the same time, there's like a different flavor in it that I can't really describe. So, there's green onions, an egg, and there's little bits of sausage. Here's sizzling kielbasa. Wow. Careful, that cast iron is hot. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Alright. 
hear it? Yeah. <laughs> What's all on the plate, Val? Well? On the plate? Mm -hmm. This is kielbasa. We have thousands of them. This mm -hmm. one is na the name is Svetlana. This is bigos, which is hunter stew made from uh, cabbage, uh, kielbasa, pork, and some more stuff. And sourdough bread. That's the whole plate. This uh, Polish fries. Uh, my secret sauce. It's mm -hmm. actually my third sauce. <laughs> mm -hmm. With kielbasa on the top and uh, sunny side deck. And this is Knesha. Knesha is chicken hat sandwich with coslo and garlic dill sauce. Oh my goodness. So enjoy. Thank you. You will so like it. Thank yeah. you. This Thank one you. is with chicken just for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to try to get a little bit of this. It's gonna burn my mouth. <laughs> Why don't you wait till it cools down? I can taste like cabbage right off the bat, but the pork is really subtle. But I would expect it to be really salty, but it's not really salty. It has like a very like slightly sweet tone to it. Guys, do you want ketchup and mustard for the kielbasa? Mm. No, no, thank no, you. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Thank you. You want ketchup and mustard? Uh, no, I think I'm just going to let the sauce do the talking. <laughs> thank you. Can we go ahead and try a little bit of the sausage? Yeah, you better like this. So this is... She says she gets the, uh, the sausage all over from Chicago. So let's see how Chicago sausage is tasting like. Dude. So in Texas sausage, it's, we always get like very strong, mild taste. I've never had a sausage that was so, like, it's so light, but it has a lot of flavor to it. Like, it has a good kick to it. And then, on top of that, um, I don't even taste It's made out of pork, but I don't, I can't, I don't get that, like, porky aftertaste like I do with, like, pork sausages, like, from local butcher shops around here. And then, along with the cabbage and this, like, there's pork and cabbage and I'm not really sure what else, but you know what? It's really good. Honestly, I would go out of my way to come to this restaurant just to have this dish every single day. It's that good. And then with the sauerkraut on top as well. And then here we have Polish fries with the owner's secret sauce that she told me that was passed down to her by her mother. And then we have a egg on top with sausage around it and bits of green onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a little bit of everything. Dude, look at that. I didn't even know they knew I like that runny yolk. Again, like fries are always like really heavy, and I don't know what's the difference between the potatoes that she's using and like the uh, potatoes that we use around. But the fries are really light, really tasteful. I, there's not like a strong hit of salt because the the salt is replaced by her secret sauce, and then the egg on top just like sort of ties the fries and the sauce and the sausage everything together, and it's just like perfect the way it is, I don't know, but it's really good. What? Alright, so I'm trying this chicken, this Polish chicken sandwich, I don't know what it's called. There's it some sauce on it, it looks like it's some corn, and carrots, 
and cabbage, I think. And there's also chicken in it. So I'm gonna try this. See how this tastes. All right. Let's see how this. So already, hmm. Really good. The creamy uh, sauce that gives the strong flavor and the, the chicken. I think it's grilled. And there's some green onions in there. Cheese. Oh man, it's good. This is a uh, coleslaw on top too. That's what it was. Coleslaw and corn. It's really good though. I'd come back and eat it again. Most definitely. Mm. A1. Go. So I've never been so satisfied from a restaurant. I'm gonna go ahead and put it like that. Like, you had your little chicken sandwich. What do you think of that? Uh, it was good. It was really good. Satisfying. Um, really helped me out because I'm not supposed to eat red meat or like really tough, heavy meat that's heavy on your stomach. So uh, the chicken was good and I'd come, I'm gonna come back and eat that again. Um, but on the more serious though, I really do admire what she's trying to do, try to bring like Polish cuisine to Texas. And honestly, I mean, I really do ha hope that her restaurant like, is successful because she really does deserve that success. So next time that you're in Lake City, make sure to stop by Fairway Queen. And our next episode is going to be a small sandwich shop in Dickinson. And hopefully our other members, Marty and Luther, will be there. Martin and Dan. Right. So next time, see you.